So you uh, solid win last time out, good result against a good opponent. I guess, you know, kind of what lessons did you take out of that or, or what did you what did you think of your performance? Uh, first of all, I'd like to start out with this is very unpolished. I have not considered doing any interviews. I didn't even know I was on the main card until very, very recently. So I apologize in advance. Uh, what did I take out of my last fight, you're saying? Yeah. Um, I went into the last fight thinking that it was the possibility of being the last fight on my contract. And uh, something was like, it felt very freeing um, where I just, I don't know, I just like didn't care that much. Like obviously I want to win, I want to be successful. I, the, tonight, I, or not tonight, but Saturday I want to go out there and be successful. Um, but I just realized that like if I put too much pressure, or too much, um, I don't know, like if I, if I worry about the end result too much, that I, uh, it's just, it's too much. It's like I can't perform and when like part of me doesn't really care, like, eh, you know, I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best and I can be free of, of that pressure of I have to win, I have to do this. Um, it's just, I, I'm just such a better, better athlete. So you got a new UFC contract in place, but have you been able to replicate that feeling of, of being able to, to let go a little bit? Yeah, you know, since I learned that, like I did a lot of self-affirmations through this and reminded myself uh, of what, what helps me perform. And, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a big one there. Um, just like an example, my coach and I did a drill where I was against the wall and he threw a ball at me 50 times. And he maybe hit me like, I don't know, maybe three times. And then he said, I'm going to do 10 more. And if I hit you, you got to do 10 burpees. Now, I don't like working out at all. So knowing that I had to do 10 burpees every one, it put up those pressure. You know what I mean? Like, I have to do this because I don't want to do these. I don't want to work out. And he hit me four out of 10 times. Just That's just an example of, like, how my brain works. You know what I mean? It's like if I put too much pressure on the end result, you know what I mean? And then the way I reacted to the ball coming was completely different. Like, And that's kind of like a fight, too. Like, I'll go into a fight and, like, Oh, I have to win. And then in my mind, I'm like, I have to fight like this because this is the right way to fight and this is the best way and all this. And like, instead of just not caring, I'm going to go out and do what I do every, you know, every night when I go to the gym and, and whatever happens, happens. You know, I'm, I'm, I've always uh, went out there, gave it my all. I've never quit. You know what I mean? So it's not like, a, like I don't care and I'm going to go out there and qu No, that's not how it's going to be at all. I've never quit. Um, that's just not part of my, part of me. And, um, so yeah, I'm not I'm not worried about that. I'm just I just want to go out there and put on a good show. Nice. So as a guy that doesn't like to work out, how do you decide I'm going to be a professional athlete? <laughs> uh, ooh, that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> I like the strategy behind it. You know, I wish we could all just agree that we weren't going to work out. We were just going to fight on this night with what we have. But everybody works out with a bunch of cheaters. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would support that league, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shorter rounds. Let's go for a minute. You know. No, I've actually I have a uh, I have learned to appreciate um, working out, and my my coaches have made working out fun for me too. Like we'll do things that, uh, like if I just sit on a bike and just do bike sprints, like I just can't. I don't know if it's my ADHD or whatever, but I just like have such a hard time doing that. So I've done cardio in a lot of different ways, a lot of different circuits and stuff to um, really hit my anaerobic and work my, you know, my anaerobic too. Anaerobic's a big one too because you know, I want to be on a bike for 10 minutes. Um, so I have gotten, and I've, and another thing is like I've really seen a big difference in my training, my, my conditioning and all that, like uh, as far as like how I'm performing. So like seeing that makes it, gives me a little more motivation to go out there and, just burpees really suck, though. You know, it's just that burpees aren't enjoyable at all. And <laughs> all right, so you're fighting Chase Sherman. I guess, uh, what do you think about the matchup? Seems like one that you're uh, expecting excitement out of. Yeah, it's, uh, I got that 50K bonus, and now I'm just like, oh, I got to get it, you know? So uh, it's a fight that I wanted. And, I, and it was funny because I would talked about the fight. I'm like, man, that would be a really good fight because he's a, he throws, I throw. You know what I mean? It would be a, I think that would be a fight that could get possibly both of us a 50K bonus. Um, but I had not said anything to my manager or anything like that. And then I was offered chase on, I think it was like eight or nine days notice. And I'm like, uh, you know, like I haven't really been doing a lot. You know what I mean? But I do want that fight. And it's funny you say that because that's a fight I was actually going to ask for. And then Mick said, well, you know, because we're booked into December, uh, you know, I, I can't really schedule anything. I can't make any promises or any of that, anything like that. And then, um, it was like maybe a month. No, no, no. It was, uh, maybe six or seven weeks later. 
I started doing mini camps like uh, like a strength, power, speed, strength, power, speed, just like little mini camps before I even got into this camp, just in case I had to take something last minute because they were booked so far out. And then I got offered that with 11 weeks. I'm like, oh my God, I got 11, week, uh, 11 weeks to get ready. That's awesome. I'm going to fight that I wanted. And then they waited to renegotiate my contract until I got that fight. So nice. that was cool too. Last thing for me, I guess, now with this new contract in hand, I mean, I guess is the goal consistency. I mean, you've had this kind of win-loss, win-loss. Is it consistency with wins or is it just have fun, go out and maybe get some more $50,000 bonuses? Like what's the goal with this new deal? <laughs> uh, my goal is really just, is uh, I think – having the goal of just go out there and have fun will, will give me more wins. You know what I mean? If I'm sitting there like, oh, I got to win. I got to get in a streak. I got to, you know, do this. Like, that's putting an end result, you know, a pressure on the end result, but I don't care about that. I just want to go out there and that my last fight, I didn't have, I'm like, well, I don't really care. You know what I mean? I'm going to go out there and give my all. And, and I was able to perform one of the best performances I've had because I was able to be like, I able to be me, essentially. And I think me is a, uh, is a good fighter. Me trying to be somebody else that I, the cookie cutter, which uh, a lot of people believe is a good fighter, maybe sometimes I think is supposed to be what people want to see is not a good fighter because I don't do that every day. Hey, Josh. Yep. Where was your Wild Things costume? Uh, where was it? Yeah. Well, where was mine? Or, yeah, oh, whatever. man, it was uh, – um, we kind of went back and forth on the, on the costume for her because – the first year, she was born on May 4th, so she was Star Wars baby, so she was little baby Yoda. And then her name was Eva. The next year, we made her, uh, uh, what was it? Who's the bicycle, the motorcycle guy that did all this, all the, Eva, Eva Knievel, we made her. <laughs> and then this year, we're like, oh, I don't know, should we make a, we were going to do Eva Las Vegas with like a, the a Vegas theme in the back, but then we're like, well, she's kind of getting the age where like, I don't want to force her to wear a costume she doesn't want to wear. And then it was going to be cold out, possibly rainy. So, like, man, what a perfect costume. Like, she'd be warm. And then, and then she really liked it. And she likes to run up to people and go, rawr. So, it worked out. <laughs> uh, I was waiting for your big wild things. Costume. Oh, where's mine? Oh, because it was last minute. It's funny. I looked on uh, Google to try to figure out, like, how I could make it. But I'm like, that's a, that's a lot of effort in a very short time. <laughs> uh, what did you do with your 50K bonus? Uh, I actually bought... Uh, it's not a brand new truck, but it only had uh, 25,000 miles on it. Um, I bought a new truck because it's funny because I, I had a 2010 F-150. And right before I got my fight to fight Chad Johnson on the last contender series to get signed, I got that truck repossessed. And that was like a, that was like a sad moment for me too. And like my girlfriend's parents were over They're at her house like three times a year. And they happened to be there while people came and repoed my truck. You know what I mean? <laughs> that was super embarrassing. Uh, and then she gave me her, uh, her vehicle, which was like, I mean, it ran, but it's not, you know, it's rust bucket and, and the power steering went out randomly. So it wasn't, I couldn't even put Eva in it, um, because it's just dangerous, you know, when's power steering going to go out randomly and I don't, I don't want that. So, um, what was I going with that? Oh, so when I got that bonus, I'm like, man, I get a vehicle that's safe for my daughter. And then I bought an F-150, just like the one that got repoed, the exact same color, and I was just, I felt so good to just like, I paid 40 grand for it. And I'm like, you can't take this one from me. I bought it in cash. This is mine. You know what I mean? No, I don't have to worry about ever losing it, which is like a good feeling. Awesome. Congrats on that, man. Thank you. Um, you know, you, you've spoken about pre-fight nerves a lot in, in, in your, in, in your fight career, man. Um, what are they like this, this fight camp? Now that, you know, it, it's not so much stress on your shoulders from, you know, maybe you'll, you'll get cut if you lose. Like what, what are they like this, this fight camp? Uh, I would say they're consistent with the last fight that I had. They, they were not super bad. Um, yeah, no, I feel, I feel, uh, man, the, the nerves that I had for that Don tail Mays fight was like, they were just so tremendous. They're like anything that's not that is just a relief. I like, I, I just was broken before I went into that fight. And, uh, at this point, I, I'm actually hoping for a little more nerves because nerves make me perform, even though it's like, oh, it's uncomfortable and you get nauseous and you don't like it. But, like, I know that I'll perform better when I have a little bit of nerves. So hopefully when it gets closer, I'll get those. And finally for me, what do you think of House of Dragons? Uh, I thought I had a slow start, slow, but it ended really strong. Um, but I also felt that – did you watch – did you finish it? I'm not going to be spoilers. Anybody, anybody who's going to watch it here or whatever. Uh <laughs> <laughs> uh, it didn't have a Game of Thrones ending, like, you know, like the Red Wedding or whatever, but uh, I thought it was still good. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you.
Good questions, too. I, I hate when people ask the same questions. Nobody ever asks those questions. How's this training camp been? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if that's a serious question, it's actually been really good. Okay. <laughs> I am curious though, if you, you hate working out and you're a professional athlete, how many times have you regretted becoming a professional athlete? Is it every workout or once a week? Uh, you know, I go back and forth on it because like I can play WoW so much with not having a job, uh, which is really cool. I play lots of video games, but then when I have to work out, I'm like, oh, this is kind of, I can't go back and forth. <laughs> and then like, you know, um, I just, you know, like getting hit in the head and stuff like that. I'm always like worried about that. I'm like, man, am I going to, you know, have issues with that later in life or whatever? Um, so that's always like a worry. And one thing like Dana White said recent, uh, kind of recently, he said, this is not a career. It's an opportunity that actually, I think a lot of pissed a lot of people off. You know what I mean? But actually was, uh, man, it's so relieving to me. Cause I'm like, you're right. Like this is, this is not my life. This is, I'm not going to do this forever. I'm, uh, if I don't have this, I'm not going to be able to feed my kid and all that stuff. It's like, no, this is, uh, this is in the moment. I'm going to make the most of this opportunity. If I make a bunch of money, that's awesome. But no matter what, like what I've gained through martial arts and fighting, I'll be able to take that in any career, any path that I choose to do. And I'll, uh, I'll do great. And then I, and I'm, I know that I'll have uh, opportunity to provide and, and, you know, whatever, whatever I need to do.